What's going on guys, it is Golagio here, welcome back to another Blackburn Rovers crew mod, this is episode 8 and this is the January Transfer Special. Yes, guys, you would have just heard it then. The January transfer special is here. So this is where I open up the January transfer window. The opportunity for you guys to actually get involved with the series. To suggest players where we need to improve. In a few moments' time, I will have a look at the budget. But before that, make sure you do hit that like button because it means a lot. It supports the channel brilliantly. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe so you do not miss a single video of mine. Because usually, I upload every Monday, Wednesday... Uh, Friday and Sunday, of course, we're a little off skewer this week, uploading on Tuesdays, uh, Thursdays, and uh, today is Saturday, actually. So, anyway, hope you're all enjoying the series. But before I get on into the budget, the, the squad, where we need to improve, I want to share the statistics with you. You might be able to understand where we might need to improve. Let's have a quick look at the lead table. So, at the moment, we are currently in sixth place, which means we are only two points off fourth, one point off fifth. I would say we are playing really well. And, of course, one of the lowest uh, loss amount of losses in the top six. So, we joint on that particular front. But the biggest thing you can actually see here is our goals conceded. It is one of the highest in the actual league, considering the top ten. That's where we need to improve. We are conceding a lot of goals. In all fairness, we've changed to Rea. Um, and we have not conceded as many goals. We came a lot more clean sheets. But I think a goalkeeper is still on the cards. Because at the moment, we are going to be selling Lennon. That's how quick look uh, Lennon at the moment. Frustrating thing with Lennon as well. He's a really high-rated goalkeeper. He's just absolutely awful though. So he is 81 rated. He is 26 foot free. So generally, you would think a really good goalkeeper to have in your squad. But the amount of goals I conceded with him in such a short space of time, I was just like... Oh my days, this goalkeeper is absolutely dreadful for his rating. I, we seriously need to stop actually playing him. And we did. And we stopped playing him. We stopped conceding as much. The defence hasn't changed, literally. Uh, frying at Padu, Aarons. The only change I make every so often now is our other left back, Noski, I think his name is. We actually put in our left back position. But that's every so often. It isn't all the time. The midfield tends to remain the same. Usually we have Reed in there. And of course our front three is usually completely different. We have Armstrong, uh, Roas and Way usually there. Because last episode, if you missed it, we changed the team around quite a bit. So looking at the squad, honestly, I'm thinking a goalkeeper is going to have to come into the side. Because at the moment, I do have quite a strong shortlist. But just before I share that shortlist with you, I want to show you the transfer budget. And of course, we will be selling Lunin. So make sure you do comment below, guys, because we are going to have around £20 million to spend or so. If not, it's only going to be a couple of million, depending on what happens with Lunin. But either way, I think a goalkeeper needs to come in. But let's have a quick look at this budget. Our finances at the minute are not looking too good. Generally, we're minus 17 mil in our profit or our turnover, a net profit even, I should say. Currently minus 17 million. A lot of money going out of earnings. Of course, we're only earning around 30 million. Expenses currently at 47 million pounds. So we need to kind of sort that out. But looking at the budget at the moment, we do have only around 3 million pounds or so to actually spend. I would say, considering the budget. And now we're we'll bringing uh, Slavar, who I've been really highly rated. A lot of you guys have commented to actually bring him in on a cheap. Um, so I'm going to consider bringing him in as well. Of course, he actually featured in a video that I did um, on Thursday. So make sure you check that out. The best series begins. And it's going to be featuring every 10 weeks from Wednesday, guys, at 6 p.m. So make sure you do subscribe for that. I talk about Savar there, and he's a very good goalkeeper. He's actually the best goalkeeper I've ever used in Cremo for the last several seasons. And because he was introduced in FIFA 17, he's been brilliant ever since. So I know for a fact a player like that is going to come in. But if Lunin sells, this is the big thing. If Lunin sells, because he will be up for sale when that transfer window opens, we will be looking to improve the score. Of course, we need to bring down that actual uh, goals conceded. We need to stop. We've conceded 23 this season. We need to bring that down. So I'm honestly thinking another centre-back, but a big, big centre-back. I'm talking around 80 rated or high 70s to kind of replace that pad due at the minute, even though he's playing really, really well. Like, I'm thinking we are still slacking that little bit, and I'm thinking we could improve it 
quite a bit. But anyways, have a quick look who we actually going to sell in this side because some players got to go. So you may notice we have actually put a lot of players out on loan. For example, this particular player we do have on the loan list. Um, Charlie Mulgrew, I'm also looking to sell. I'm actually going to put him on the transfer uh, list just to see if he can actually go because we don't need him we might consider bringing in another center back and of course 19 grand wage this guy is on that's absolutely huge so we could consider actually selling him and he is in that critical role at the moment and we don't need him as a batter because we do have Walt and Platt we are looking to actually loan out in all fairness I think he is on loan at the moment uh, Ricky as well another youth player he's going out on loan um, and, but we do have Lenyon, we have Fry, we have Apadju. So generally, we have a really strong defence anyway. Mulgrew isn't getting in there, without a doubt. And we will be bringing someone else, of course, if we do get a budget. My left backs are looking absolutely incredible. I love these two, probably my two favourite ones. Paying a little bit more wage for the younger Noski, um, just because I bought him from a more of a prestigious club. But anyway, we got Davenport as well. He's coming out on loan. Another youth player we're looking to loan out. Costa um, going out on loan this season. Hopefully, a lot of development actually going on. He's a very good player, this particular player is. A little word of advice. If you are um, looking to actually spot good youth players, check out the full tutorial up on my channel. But anything above 100 k is usually a good player to actually sign. But anyway, Evans as well. We're keeping in the side because I want to keep our midfield really jam-packed. I want the depth actually there. Barry Bannon, probably one of the best signings I've made this season. Absolutely incredible. He ain't going to be going, but uh, another few youth players going. Joswick was another player which I was looking to sell, which is quite a bit of a big, bold move. He does only have seven months left on his contract, but in all fairness, I'm not playing him whatsoever. And now I've actually brought in Harry Chapman. I'm, I'm playing Chapman instead of Joswick. So... Joswick's probably going to be end up being sold as well. I'm trying to get rid of Dominic Samuel also. He gets a lot of interest, but deals tend to fall through or literally they're going under that actual value. So we will be getting rid of Dominic Samuel also. Ben Priot and is still inside. We won't be getting rid of him anytime soon. But the rest of the side will remain the same other than Casey Palmer could potentially leave also. And the only reason for that is because he isn't meant to be in the squad. He was just settled there, so I kind of want to sell him to bring in someone else. Because there was another player I was actually looking at. I'm going to show you, actually, my transfer shortlist right now, guys, which I'm excited to share with you. So check it out. So these are the players that I've actually been looking at. Some absolutely incredible players. All variety of ratings, as you can see. Left back, central attack midfielders, forwards, uh, goalkeepers, Wingers, of course, Hudson Oddu, a player that we are looking to bring in. Currently valued at £10 million. Pounds. Oh my gosh, that value has rotted up since the last uh, transfer window. But we was looking to bring in Rio Griffiths as well from the last window. But Savar, the goalkeeper that I'm eyeing up at the moment, and he's 73 rated, so he's going to be coming in battling with Reyes straight away. But I honestly think he could be an absolute brilliant goalkeeper for us. The best goalkeeper, I honestly think, in FIFA 19, Cremo, without a doubt. So I definitely need to bring him in. But he does only have potential of 84. That's currently the only downside with him at the moment. But we'll wait and see. But I definitely play to actually chat because he is valued around 5, five mil pound. Wow. Oh, mate. I thought we had more money than that. We're actually going to have to sell more players. The value's gone up. We might have to loan him in for the first season with an option to buy. I think he might actually loan in, in all fairness. But we'll, we'll wait and see about that. We'll see, we'll see what financial situation we are in. But uh, other players such as like Troy Deeney potentially to bring in. Gallagher, Hernandez, who I think would be good. Um, um, Britt would be absolutely a brilliant player to bring in because this guy's ridiculous. He has incredible shot power. He should do anyway. Where's it too? His finishing should be immaculate. In real life, he's brilliant. I can't find his shot power right now. That's annoying. Where's it too? But anyway, defensive-wise, I haven't put any centre-backs in as of yet, so I'm not too sure who I should sign. So I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. But anyway, we do have this guy as well. Only valued at £3.4 million. And the thing is, though, I would sell Palmer, bring this guy in. It is Zan Ioli. The guy looks incredible. He's playing absolutely brilliant in real life as well. We got him on the cheap. I think if we left him any longer than this season, we won't be able to bring him in. 
So I think this is an opportunity to actually bring him in there. So add an extra depth to attack midfielders. Get rid of Casey Palmer also. Um, I'm also tempted to bring in another central midfielder. Possibly Trap from the MLS. I don't know yet. We'll wait and see about that. But uh, guys, that is my transfer list. Who I want to bring in. The two main ones, Savar, I would say. And to be honest, at the minute, Zanioli. Uh, or Nicolo. I don't know. I'm awful, I'm awful at names. I do apologize. I should have checked. Um, but I want you guys to actually suggest in the comment section below a centre back that I can actually bring in. I'm talking a cheap one. I don't want to be splashing the cash. Um, actually, I do want to be splashing the cash. Um, if we do, give me two options. This is what I want. In the comment section below right now, guys, scroll down. You'll still be able to hear me. I want you to actually comment and actually say a player who you bought for cheap, like maybe around a million pounds or so. Who, you sh who I should bring in in centre back, and also a player who is probably worth around 10 to 15 million pounds that I should bring in in centre back. So like an 80 rated player, he could be old, he could be young. Let's try and keep it realistic. Who could be signing in the season two with Blackburn Rovers in the Premier League? We need to settle our fifth. We need to get a little bit better than Spurs. It's kind of the biggest thing there. Um, that's where we kind of we need to fill those gaps. And I think the defender will do that. A new goalkeeper and add a little bit of extra depth. When it actually comes to it. But I'm excited for this transfer window. I cannot wait to see what actually happens. But you will be finding out more in episode 9, guys. So make sure you do, of course, hit that subscribe button. So you do not miss Monday's episode of the Blackburn Rovers Cremo. Because there's going to be plenty going on in that one. Games, transfers, budget changes, players going up for sale. It's going to be exciting. But uh, anyway, guys, make sure you do like, hit that like button. It means a lot. Of course, like I just said, subscribe. And of course... I've said that three or four times now. Guess what, guys? I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.